Hey and welcome back to another video. So yesterday we saw the release of iOS 14 and along with it came a whole new plethora of features. And in this video I'll be showing you what the iPhone 7 is like running iOS 14 just in case you wanted to know before updating. This is not a comprehensive review on the phone itself but instead a look at how the iPhone 7 performs on iOS 14. For a comprehensive review on using the iPhone 7 in 2020, click the video in the card above and I will also link it down in the description below. But before that, don't forget to hit the like button and check out my channel and if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button as it helps me out a lot. Also hit that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm on Discord, Twitter and Instagram and you can follow me on those using the links down in the description below. Alright, let's jump right into this. So firstly, we'd want to talk about speed and as you can see, the iPhone 7 performs just fine on iOS 14. I did not notice any stutter and it actually felt like the phone was faster than when it was on iOS 13. The new app library on iOS 14 is a great way to reduce clutter from lesser used apps. Simply hold down the app and select move to app library or remove from home screen to put the app away for when needed later. When any app needs accessing, just head over to the app library to access it from there or put it back to the home screen. Another important thing that we'd want to discuss on iOS 14 is widgets. Widgets can be accessed and customized by swiping right on the home screen to where the widget home can be found. Widgets can exist on here or be moved to the home screens as needed. Simply press edit and then the plus icon on the top to access more widgets. Once you're in, you're greeted with all the widgets available currently. More widgets will be added over time once the app developers start making use of them. So, to add a widget, simply select the one you need and select what size you wish it to be and it is automatically added to the widget home. You can then add more widgets and once you have what you need, you can choose to move them to the home screen or stack them by moving them atop each other. The smart stack widget selects your most used apps and then shuffles them in accordance. Once you are ready, you can then add them to the home screen. They can be also edited in the future. Siri is now different too. The new compact Siri is advertised to be smarter than ever before and understand things better as well. Hey Siri, are there any baseball games today? There are 12 MLB games on tap for today. Hey Siri, what's the time in Berlin? Hey Siri, what's the weather like in Dubai? It's currently clear and 32 degrees in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Temperatures will be fairly consistent, averaging about 32 degrees. Siri can now also translate stuff in different languages for you. Hey Siri, how do I say good morning in German? Hey Siri, how do I say what's up in Arabic? In Arabic, what's up is? Hey Siri, how do I say what's the time in Russian? In Russian, what's the time is? Katolichas. Speaking of translation, there is also a new translation app that works surprisingly well. Hola. Hello. Some apps have been redesigned too, such as the fitness app which looks more compact and less cluttered than before. The same goes for the notes app. Other third party apps will need new updates to make full use of iOS 14 and updates will be coming soon hopefully.
Apart from all that, iOS 14 came along with less intrusive phone call alerts which I sadly can't show you as my phone has no SIM in it. It also now has picture-in-picture -picture video viewing and picture-in-picture -picture video calls and of course, new Memoji stickers which I personally never use. The whole list of new features on iOS 14 is just too vast to cover in this single video, so you could head on over to Apple's website to look at all the new features in detail. But I hope this video helped you in seeing what your iPhone 7 will look like and feel like once it's updated. So finally that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel and if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.